What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another twin motion tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to add section cuts inside of your renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so a section cut is gonna be a visual cut that you can take through your building um, in order to see things like the inside of the building by hiding things behind a certain plane. And so we use that a lot to create like floor plans and SketchUp and things like that. But we can also use that to have different visibility settings inside of Twin Motion. So let's go ahead and add a section cut. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside of our library on the left hand side of the page and we're going to click inside of volumes and in volumes there's an option in here for sections so um, and if you click on sections there's an option in here for a section cube and so that's an item that's kind of like a, refre a reflection probe in the sense that it's an item that you drag into your model in order to create a visibility so like for example if I take this and drag it into my model, you can see how it gives me this box right here. And so this box is going to allow us to take our section cut through our building. And you can see how when it first comes in, it's not doing a whole lot because the box isn't actually through this building. And so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna come in here and we wanna move this down. And so when we move this down, you can see how what this is doing is anything inside of this box that's being intersected by this plane is being cut out or hidden so that you can't see it anymore. So what that does is that gives us a view inside of this building. So we can use that in order to do things like looking at floor plans and other things. And so one thing that you may wanna do when you do this is you may wanna use the scale tool in order to adjust the size of this box. So you can see how as I click and drag this, this box is getting bigger and it's giving me more of a section cut through more area. And so when I do this, I probably just want to come through and adjust this so that the building itself is fitting inside this box. And then I'll just use the scale tool in order to scale it out. So I get a section through everything. And so one thing you might notice is we're not exactly getting a section through the whole building. So we're just gonna re, um, or we're just gonna move this down a little bit so that we're getting a true section through the entire building. So you can see how what this does is this gives us like a nice floor plan view of our building. And so now let's take a look at the options that are contained inside of your section cut. So first of all, when you have your section cut selected by clicking on this little box, there's an option for enabled. And that's just gonna allow you to flip this on and off. You'll notice that when you click enabled on or off, this is gonna become visible over here as well. So really this is just a visibility setting to turn off this um, section cube object inside of your outliner over here. So the color adjusts the color of the faces where the uh, section cut is intersecting inside of your model. So like for example, the section cut is hitting this table right here or this uh, counter. And so what it's doing is it's turning that blue and you can adjust the color of what that intersection looks like inside of your color picker. Honestly, I'm a little confused by thickness um, because it seems to do the same thing that moving your section plane up and down would. I think maybe it gives you kind of a more pronounced transition in here. Um, so I think it kind of adjusts that transition. Honestly, I'm not 100% clear. I'm having trouble describing what this is doing other than uh, when you take your section cut and you kind of get what you're looking for, you should go ahead and play around with this section plane in order to uh, kind of get the look that you're going for. Um, so invert is going to flip this. So if I click invert, then this is gonna flip the direction that the section cut is being taken. So you can see how if I flip that, um, it's taking this um, from the bottom instead of the top. So you can use that to flip your section plane. And so another thing I wanna note about this is your section plane can be adjusted or rotated to face different directions. So like for example, I can rotate this section plane in order to take this and do like a true straight up and down or um, if I wanna do like an elevation view or something like that, I can definitely do that as well. And so now let's say that instead of wanting a straight up and down view, we wanted like an elevation view cutting through this building. What we could do is we could add a second section cube in here and we could turn the first one off. And then you can see how I can move this cube in here 
and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this so that it's kind of uh, a little more level and straight up and down so we'll scale this out like this and out like this so that it's bigger like the other one but then what we can do is we can come in here and we can rotate this so if I adjust this 90 degrees, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me a section cut through my building. And so when I do this, what I can do is I can adjust this section cut out and make it wider. So that it's giving me kind of a full cut through everything in my model and then I can go down here and I can look into the inside of this building and in this case probably what I would do because this building is more interesting if we look at it from the other direction is I would invert this and then uh, just do some kind of fine adjustment with the move tools but you can see how you could use this in order to create an elevation view inside of your rendering so let's say I move this back just a bit to give me kind of a cut into my building. Um, you can see how I can use this in order to create that kind of front elevation view inside of my rendering. And so probably what I would do for something like this is I would organize this or rename this so that I know what each one of these does. So like for example, this one would be front elevation and this one would be plan view. And then now what we could do is we could create a camera view for each one of these. So I could create an image and under my more, so I could go ahead and I could create an image and I could adjust all my field of view settings and things like that. But for this particular image, probably what we would have, and let's say we just wanted to do a cut inside of this building right here. Probably what we would do is we would um, go into our camera settings and we'd probably turn perspective correction on. Um, to start and then we would set up our field of view so we can only see what we want to see So let's say for example, I wanted a section cut just through this living room I could set this view up like this so that we could see that so we would save that in our first image And then We could create a second image and so for the section for the second view probably what I would do is I would turn perspective correction off and I would go into my urban settings and use the camera align tool to align my camera so this is straight up and down and so you could use this in order to create a plan view or something like that and if you wanted to you could probably come in here and adjust this so that this reflection isn't showing um, or you could even take this and probably I would want so I would want to refresh my camera view now that I have this different view. Um, but you could use this to create like a straight up and down view. And then once we're done, and we've kind of adjusted our lighting settings the way that we want them. So I might adjust this maybe a little bit like this so I get a little bit of shadow in here. Um, but then we would take our images and we would just export them. So I could just mark both of these in this case and we would just select the folder we want to export them to. And this will render these out with those section planes shown. So here's my top down camera view. And then here's my front elevation camera view. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know you could use section cuts in twin motion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.